Hi, Barry Callister of Barry Callister Photography and Photographer's Freedom. I have a confession to make. I don't like talking about camera settings. There I said it. I do not like talking about camera settings and yet so many people in the YouTube world and the camera world are asking what's the best settings for this? What's the best settings for that? What? How long is a piece of string? Seriously, you're asking the wrong question. And this video is going to clarify things a little bit more for you. Now, I just need to, this needs to be said. Okay, guys, it really needs to be said. When you ask, what are the best settings for wildlife photography, for example, that is, it, it's like trying to unbake a cake. Okay, and you know, someone gives you a cake and says, here, tell me what's in it. Yep, the, <laughs> the settings for one great photo are just that. They're the settings for that great photo. And as photography is the, it's the capturing of light, let's, bring it back to its basics, to what it really is. It's the capturing of light. Light changes from moment to moment, okay? If you sit here and you watch this video and you look at the windows behind me, you will possibly see the light changes. It gets brighter, it gets darker, the coloring changes. If I stayed here until sunset, you know, the light outside would get slightly warm and yellowish and golden, it'd be lovely. Light in the middle of the day, when the sun is high is is kind of washed out and bright you know light changes and it changes from moment to moment when you're taking photos outdoors when you're outside the best settings for any photo are the settings that you need for that lighting condition with your camera and your lens combination okay asking someone Randomly on a Facebook photography group. What's the best settings for? You know taking photos of my son playing soccer Can't answer it dude What kind of day is it gonna be? Is it gonna be raining? Is it gonna be cloudy? Is it going to be sunny? What color is he going to be wearing? Is he going to be wearing a white top a red top a blue top? How fast is he going to be running? These are things that you're not going to get answers. This is not how you're going to learn photography. It's just not. So what I'm going to do here as part of this video is I'm going to offer to the first 10 people who watch this video and sign up through the link in the video description. I'm going to offer you a free one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me. So it's a live video call where I'm going to answer your questions about photography, but I'm not going to tell you about settings. I am going to tell you about how you can learn to use your camera and your lenses to get the best results that you want for your photos. And it's got absolutely nothing to do with camera settings. Guys, it's got nothing to do with it. There's a whole lot of stuff that you need to learn before you even begin to talk about settings. So I want to do a one-on-one -on -one call with the first 10 people who sign up through the link in the video description. So get to it. Stop watching me waffling on <laughs> and standing on my soapbox and get down there and click the link and I look forward to talking to you. So you will have to sign up to my mailing list so that you can register for the call. But that's an extra bonus because you're getting weekly emails with blog posts, videos, special deals, updates, so much value. So get to it, go and sign up and let's teach you some photography. Okay, thanks. I'll see you next time.